everything that's been discovered on Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun, and the second smallest planet in the solar system, being larger than only Mercury. There are several strategic, practical, and scientific reasons for humans to explore Mars. Among them, we know that Mars is the most accessible place in the solar system. Additionally, exploring Mars provides the opportunity to possibly answer origin and evolution of life questions, and could someday be a destination for survival of humankind. The goal of the Mars Exploration Program is to explore Mars and to provide a continuous flow of scientific information and discovery through a carefully selected series of robotic orbiters, landers, and mobile laboratories interconnected by a high-bandwidth Mars-Earth communications network. So in today's video, we will be looking at everything that's been discovered on Mars. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. NASA's Curiosity rover is providing vital insight about Mars's past and current environments that will aid plans for future robotic and human missions. In a little more than a year on the Red Planet, the Mobile Mars Science Laboratory has determined the age of a Martian rock, found evidence the planet could have sustained microbial life, taken the first readings of radiation on the surface, and shown how natural erosion could reveal the building blocks of life. Curiosity finds evidence of persistent liquid water in the past. Just after landing, Curiosity found smooth, rounded pebbles that likely rolled downstream for at least a few miles, in a river that was ankle to hip deep. When Curiosity reached Mount Sharp, the team found that over 1,000 vertical feet of rock formed originally as mud at the bottom of a series of shallow lakes. Rivers and lakes persisted in Gale Crater for perhaps a million years or longer. The atmosphere of modern Mars is too thin to make a sustained stream flow of water possible, though the planet holds large quantities of water ice. Several types of evidence have indicated that ancient Mars had diverse environments, with liquid water. However, none but these rocks found by Curiosity could provide the type of streamflow information published this week. Curiosity's images of conglomerate rocks indicate that atmospheric conditions at Gale Crater once enabled the flow of liquid water on the Martian surface. A suitable home for life. The Curiosity rover found that ancient Mars had the right chemistries to support living microbes. Curiosity found sulfur, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and carbon key ingredients necessary for life in the powder sample drilled from the sheet bed mudstone in Yellowknife Bay. The sample also reveals clay minerals and not too much salt, which suggests fresh, possibly drinkable water once flowed there. Scientists identified sulfur, nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and carbon, some of the key chemical ingredients for life, in the powder curiosity drilled out of a sedimentary rock near an ancient stream bed in Gale Crater on the Red Planet last month. Organic Carbon Found in Mars Rocks Organic molecules are the building blocks of life, and they were discovered on Mars after a long search by the Sample Analysis at Mars SAM instrument and several samples drilled from Mount Sharp and the surrounding plains. The finding doesn't necessarily mean there's a past or present life on Mars, but it shows that raw ingredients existed for life to get started there at one time. It also means that ancient organic materials can be preserved for us to recognize and study today. Researchers used Curiosity's onboard sample analysis at Mars, SAM, laboratory a dozen times in a 20-month period to sniff methane in the atmosphere. During two of those months, in late 2013 and early 2014, four measurements averaged seven parts per billion. Before and after that, readings averaged only one-tenth that level. Curiosity also detected different Martian organic chemicals in powder drilled from a rock dubbed Cumberland the first definitive detection of organics and surface materials on Mars. These Martian organics could either have formed on Mars or been delivered to Mars by meteorites. Present and active methane in Mars' atmosphere. The tunable laser spectrometer within the SAM instrument detected a seasonally varying background level of atmospheric methane and observed a tenfold increase in methane over a two-month period. The discovery of methane is exciting because methane can be produced by living organisms or by chemical reactions between rock and water, for example. Which process is producing methane on Mars? What caused the brief and sudden increase? Curiosity is one element of NASA's ongoing Mars research and preparation for human mission to Mars in the 2030s. Caltech manages the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California and JPL manages Curiosity rover science investigations for NASA's Science Mission Directorate in Washington. The SAM investigation is led by Paul Mahaffey of Goddard. 
two SAM instruments key in these discoveries are the quadruple mass spectrometer, developed at Goddard, and the tunable laser spectrometer, developed at JPL. The results of the Curiosity rover investigation into methane detection and the Martian organics in an ancient rock were discussed at a news briefing Tuesday at the American Geophysical Union's convention in San Francisco. The methane results are described in a paper published online this week in the journal Science by NASA scientist Chris Webster of JPL and co-authors. Radiation could pose health risks for humans. During her trip to Mars, Curiosity experienced radiation levels that would exceed NASA's career limit for astronauts, if left unshielded. The radiation assessment detector, RAD, instrument on Curiosity found that two forms of radiation pose potential health risks to astronauts in deep space. One is galactic cosmic rays, or GCRs, particles caused by supernova explosions and other high-energy events outside the solar system. The other is solar energetic particles, or SEPs, associated with solar flares and coronal mass ejections from the sun. NASA will use Curiosity's data to design missions to be safe for human explorers. A thicker atmosphere and more water in Mars's past. The SAM instrument suite has found Mars's present atmosphere to be enriched in the heavier forms, isotopes, of hydrogen, carbon, and argon. These measurements indicate that Mars has lost much of its original atmosphere and inventory of water. This loss occurred to space through the top of the atmosphere, a process currently being observed by the MAVEN orbiter. Learning what happened to the Martian atmosphere will help scientists assess whether the planet was ever habitable. The present atmosphere of Mars is 100 times thinner than Earth's. A set of instruments aboard the rover has ingested and analyzed samples of the atmosphere collected near the rock nest site in Gill Crater, where the rover is stopped for research. Findings from the sample analysis at Mars, SAM instruments, suggest that loss of a fraction of the atmosphere, resulting from a physical process favoring retention of heavier isotopes of certain elements, has been a significant factor in the evolution of the planet. Isotopes are variants of the same element with different atomic weights. Oh look, a thigh bone on Mars. Mark one up for the funny bone file. NASA's Curiosity rover sent a photo back to Earth in 2014 that showed a very odd rock shaped a bit like a femur bone from a human thigh. Scientists obligingly explained that the unusual shape was most likely the product of erosion by wind or water. If NASA ever did amazingly find human remains on Mars, scientists would want to shout it from the rooftops. In December 2017, a popular blog for UFO enthusiasts posted a close-up look at this spherical object spotted by NASA's Curiosity rover and suggested it was a cannonball left over from a war on the Red Planet. NASA's rover team responded with a Twitter message, pointing out how the concretion is less than a quarter inch, or five millimeters in size, and is actually made of calcium sulfate, sodium, and magnesium. In 2017, NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter looked down and snapped this image of a bizarre-looking formation in the region known as Noctis Labyrinthus, which translates to Labyrinth of the Night. The wavy areas around this mesa are sand dunes. Heavily eroded, with clusters of boulders and sand dunes on its surface, this layered mesa is probably comprised of sedimentary deposits that are being exhumed as it erodes, NASA says. Female Statue on Mars? NASA's Spirit rover delivered an image in 2007 showing a view of craggy little rock formations across the surface of Mars. One dramatically shaded formation stood out in the form of what looked like a little walking humanoid. Either that or Bigfoot. Popular UFO blog UFO Sightings Daily ran with the speculation that the rock formation is a female figure, likely made by aliens. The Planetary Society was quick to call out the object an optical illusion, and another excellent example of pareidolia, the tendency for our minds to assign familiar patterns to random shapes or sounds. Another woman on Mars. There's more than one woman-shaped rock on Mars. This image from the Mars Curiosity rover excited alien theorists earlier in 2015. The small, shadowy object inside the red circle does look a little bit like a statuette of a lady in a dress. All it takes is a strong imagination. It's really easy to pick out rocks or other things that look like something else in pictures like this, NASA media relations specialist Guy Webster told CNET. A human mission to Mars has been the subject of science fiction since the 1880s, and of aerospace engineering and scientific proposals since the late 1940s. Plans include landing on Mars for exploration at a minimum, 
with some considering exploring its moons Phobos and Deimos. Long-term proposals have included sending settlers and starting terraforming of the planet. And there you have it, folks. Be sure to comment down below about your favorite thing that you saw in this video. And be sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Till next time.